Hi, my name is David Lale. I'm a fashion designer based in Johannesburg. Welcome to my studio. Today, we're talking Jane B. Matt, the rare blend. So this year's theme at the Jane B. Matt is a rare blend. Um, I, personally, as a designer, I think it's a great uh, theme. First of all, to say, you know, where we are today and where fashion is today is a mix of multiple cultures, multiple textures, fabrications and everything. And people have uh, kind of like come to sort of personalize fashion for themselves. Yes, the trends are there and everything is great, but you know, we, you look at the street style in Johannesburg, it's like buzzing, it's on point. You look at the men, where they go to the market, whether it be uh, in, in Bromfontein or in Maboneng, um, they dress up, they make an effort. I mean, you're surprised to see a man in a suit or a scorching day on a Saturday. And then you find those like hippies kind of thing, rocking a, a vintage skirt with an African print, you know, mixing it up beautifully. So I think it's, it's a blend of different things. I mean, street culture has played a major role. Our, um, our diversity plays a major role. And also being South African is really great. And now having to put together a rare blend outfit is a fusion of luxury, I would say. Um, also a fusion of beautiful textures. Um, textures like lace um, and also a lot of embellishment but also to just kind of like lift fashion people need to understand one thing when they say a red blend it doesn't mean now you must go crazy this year the JMB mat we dressing Lala Hirayama because she is my favorite girl Lala's dress is really classic and slightly daring there's elements of revealing on the dress. We're fusing um, elements of luxury fabrics together, copier lace, chantilly lace, and a bit of bling for the drama. You may, may not see a bit of feather, but it's still in making right now, so depends what's gonna come out. And uh, the color is very understated. Um, we're playing along with ca pastel colors, just to just like really make her look outstanding. And um, like I said, there's gonna be a lot of leg. Um, just hints, I can't give you the whole description by the way. And, um, but it's going to be like really, it's going to have that opulent entrance, which is what we're known for. Maybe amongst the best dressed, we, we actually experiencing the rise of Nomzamo, which she is nailing it these days. And uh, I think she, she might nail it. Um, and also Queen Bee, always, she's always on point. I'm not gonna mention names, but the obvious cul culprits, they are already out there. We will be watching with our binoculars um, how they just become fashion focus. So, do's and don'ts for Gen B Mat 2016. First of all, remember this is a fashion event. Do not be a clown. Do not look like a clown. Ladies, get off those high heels, get a wedge, or get something comfortable for the day. Because remember, you're gonna be walking around the whole day, if not running or chasing the horses, if you get to see them. And uh, number two, gentlemen, please just remember, color blocking is overrated. Actually, not even overrated, is dead. You cannot be seen wearing um, color blocking. There's new ways of doing it. There's fashionable ways of doing it. Just keep it very relaxed and very casual because as we may know, Cape Town is very hot during the season. And uh, I know men in South Africa have just started lifting it to another level. Do not disappoint. Just make sure that you represent as well. Trends, thank you for coming to my atelier. It was lovely having you. Looking forward to see you at the JNB Met 2016.